back to TVL series about making Vietnamese questions. Today's video is about question with when. There are three different words in Vietnamese that mean when. So let's join me and find out what they are. So when in Vietnamese can be either khi nào, khi nào, lúc nào, lúc nào or bao giờ bao giờ khi nào and bao giờ are pretty much the same and are interchangeable they can be used for all questions with when chị thường học tiếng việt khi nào chị thường học tiếng việt bao giờ khi nào em về anh bao giờ em về anh However, look now is slightly different from the other two because look means moment in Vietnamese. Look now is used more when asking about smaller time events. For example, anh gọi điện thoại cho chị ấy lúc nào? Cậu muốn ăn lúc nào? Okay, let's talk about where to put when in a question. In Vietnamese, khi nào, bao giờ, and lúc nào are normally put at the beginning or at the end of the question. And there's a pretty big difference in meaning between this and this. I'd like you to look at the examples below and see if you can work out the rule yourself, okay? Feel free to pause the video if you need more time to think. Anh đến đây lúc nào? Khi nào visa của chị hết hạn? Cô ấy bắt đầu học guitar bao giờ? Bạn tốt nghiệp khi nào? Bao giờ cậu cưới? Did you work it out? The rule is when khi nào, bao giờ and lúc nào are put at the beginning of a question, it refers to an action in the future. And when khi nào, bao giờ and lúc nào are put at the end of a question, it's about an action in the past. Interesting, right? Please note that this rule only applies when the questions don't use adverbs of frequency or verbs that refer to present simple tense like có thể, cần, muốn, thích, nên, phải, and so on. If the question has one of these words, it doesn't matter where you put the question word. Like this one. Bạn muốn đi du lịch khi nào? And khi nào bạn muốn đi du lịch? They mean the same thing. When do you want to go traveling? Because it has the word muốn, which means to want. To answer questions with khi nào, bao giờ, and lúc nào, you can put the time either at the end or at the beginning of the sentence. It doesn't matter. Like this. Khi nào em về nhà? You can answer with 8 giờ em về nhà or em về nhà lúc 8 giờ. Bao giờ họ định mua nhà? Tháng sau họ định mua nhà or họ định mua nhà tháng sau. Okay, as usual, time to practice. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to check out other videos on Vietnamese questions that we have made. I'll come back next time with more useful questions. So, that be it and hẹn gặp lại for now.